Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we did this series of building an e-commerce store with the free version of Elementor here. And a nice little touch, I've used a little plugin on a few different sites and I think it's a great idea to have it on your e-commerce site. It is a premium plugin and I'll put the link below this video. And it's this little floating cart button from Yith. And when you click on it, it pops up, shows you what's in your cart. You can delete items, add new items, etc. Let's close that. And if you add another product to your cart, it just pops up, tells you that you've added one to your cart and shows you what's in your cart without leaving the shop site, which is a great idea because it encourages people to buy more things or stay on the shopping page. So let's get started. I'll go back, I'll pause this and I'll undo this. I'll take this plugin out and we'll start from scratch. Okay, once you've got the plugin downloaded, we want to add it to our plugin. So we're on the plugin page here. I'm going to hit add new. I'm going to upload this plugin. And from my downloads folder, just simply drag it and drop it next to the choose file button. Or you can hit the choose file button and browse to it that way if you prefer. When you've got it there, just hit the install now. And activate. Now it's pretty lightweight, so it doesn't take long to activate. Let's just close that page down and we'll refresh the page. Now we've got the plugin installed. Let's take a look. And as you can see, by default, it's added the little cart icon for, for us there. It's got full fun functionality straight out of the box. That's great. And let's see what about the cart notification. Let's add something to the cart. Yep, and it pops up with the notification and everything. Not too keen on that color there. But everything works perfectly out of the box. But you can style it pretty much how you want to. Let's go back to our plugins. Now once it's installed, you'll see the Yith logo right there. If you click on it, you can set the settings. Now the pop-up size, pop-up obviously, is when we click on it. This is our pop-up here. Here are our thumbnails and our titles, prices, etc. So you can change the side of it if you want to. It seems to work pretty pretty well there. You can take it down a little bit if you want to make sure it's going to be compatible with all mobiles. You can choose an animation in here um, if you want to make it more exciting. You can have it on archive pages and on single product pages. Choose your message, pro product successfully added to your cart. You can show the product info, product thumbnail, you can change the thumbnail size if you want to, but you'll have to regenerate if you do that. Show product variations, show cart total. Here you just select the things you want to display in the pop-up. And it's pretty self-explanatory. And all these pretty much I've left exactly as they are because it seems to work right out of the box. You can change the number of suggested products. Obviously, if you're going to make your product, your uh, pop-up smaller, you might want to think about how many products you want to suggest there. So we haven't made any changes, so I'm not going to save the changes. We'll go back up to the top. Next tab I'm going to look at is the mini cart, because that's the one I really like. And the mini cart, if I close that, is this little fella right here. And like I say, that really is a nice feature to have on your site. You can enable it, obviously, on desktop, on mobile. I'd have it, I leave mine on both. It seems to work perfectly well. You can upload your own icon. We'll do that in a moment. You can show a counter if you want to. The counter, obviously, is the number of items that show in your cart, or the number of items that you've put in your cart, I should say. You can choose to hide the mini cart if it's empty if you want to. And of course this great little feature right here, rather than putting in a left and a top value to put it, you can actually just drag this thing, put it wherever you want on your site. Uh, I kind of like mine in the bottom left corner there. Don't know why, but that's where I like it. So if we save our changes. 
Now you can add a product exclusion list if you don't want to feature any products in it. Search for a product and exclude it here. Same with categories if you don't want to in include them. Okay, so the only one left is our style here. So let's have a look and see what we actually want to change. If I refresh this page, that cart should be down the bottom now. There we go. And okay, I'm pretty happy with everything there. You can style yours exactly how you want. It's it's pretty much working for me. Um, let's just add there was something I didn't like wasn't it there was a notification there it is <laughs> I'm not too keen on that color there that's fine so let's let's add a cart icon and change that color right there so we'll add our own personal cart icon but while we're in the style let's go down where's that color? there's that color that I'm not too keen on let's choose a color I've got a free chrome color picker up here I'll just grab that left click let's make it this blue color here copy the hex code close it out let's go back to our page and I'll simply paste that in there great because I've changed that color I'm gonna make the text light so I'll make that white you can either just drag this up to white or type in the hex code FFFFFF six F's for white that's obviously not white there there we go okay styling wise that's pretty much all I want to do but let's actually add our own logo to the mini cart before I go there we want to save our changes and let's go up to the mini cart I just created a little logo in Photoshop it's 50 by 50 so I'm going to upload that they suggest you use 32 by 32 but 50 seems to work okay too but experiment and uh, you put yours how you like I've got mine already uploaded there okay well I think we're pretty well good to go here okay let's refresh our site that logo should have changed down here there we are I should save that little cart icon and here's our pop-up nothing will have changed there because we didn't do anything different to it let's add an item now and our pop-up message should have changed to that blue color that we set and there it is right there that's a lot better great so there you are guys there's the yith added to cart pop up like i say you'll find the link below this video i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day